Hello and welcome back to the final part of this tutorial where we are going to connect the dots across the vector database, the embeddings and the LLM to perform what is called as the retrieval augmented generation or RAG. So let's start by hitting the uh, notebook. So we'll import the modules and then we'll initialize and configure open search client. Uh, once that is done, we'll also initialize Bedrock. Uh, we have two models that we are going to invoke within Bedrock. One is the text embeddings model responsible for converting our prompt into a word embedding. And then uh, finally, the LLM responsible for generating the response. So uh, let's create the prompt. So the prompt is who won the best actor award in a supporting role. Uh, we are not saying which Academy Award uh, whether it is Oscars 2023 or the most recent Academy Awards, nothing. We don't need to give anything uh, other than this because the LLM has sufficient context that we're going to feed. So we'll create the prompt and then we'll build the context. So we have seen this function earlier. Now this is responsible for performing the semantic search based on the input vector. So the first step here is to convert our prompt into a vector. And once that is done, we will go ahead and perform a semantic search. So uh, let's take a look at the data. It looks like this. We have seen this earlier. Uh, it comes back with the output, which is a list of dictionaries. Uh, and we need to now extract the text from nominee text element to construct the context. And that's exactly what we do here. So now uh, from this response, we are going to extract only the nominee text and create a context, which looks something like this. Now, what is very important to remember, particularly when you are deploying a RAG application in production, is to make sure that your context length is within the accepted context length of the LLM. If it is beyond that, you may actually get an error. That's the reason why it's a better idea. It's a good idea to create chunks of your data and then uh, generate embeddings for them to make sure uh, the number of chunks are within the acceptable limits of the context length. So uh, for this demo, this is fine. But uh, if you are implementing this, you got to make sure you are factoring in the context length uh, before you send the actual augmented prompt to the LLM. If you are using Langchain uh, or Llama Index or some of the orchestration tools, they take care of that. But if you are doing it by yourself, just make sure you are factoring the context length. So with that disclaimer in place, let me generate the augmented prompt. So now the augmented prompt has the context that we generated here, plus the prompt, the original prompt that we actually created here, uh, which is the prompt. So now the LLM has everything it requires to respond with an accurate answer. So how does this look like? Well, let's take a look at the augmented prompt. So augmented prompt has context and then the prompt. So here it says based on the above context, answer this question. So uh, that is the augmented prompt. And finally, it's the time to invoke the LLM. So we create the configuration dictionary with appropriate values. The body has the input text coming from the augmented prompt, which is context plus the prompt and the text generation configuration. And the final moment where we invoke our LLM, which is Amazon Titan TG1 large. And let's get back the response. Okay, so this is the response. Now, uh, we can go back and take a look at uh, the response here. And if you actually look at Kehu Kwan got nominated as an actor in supporting role for the fill to win the award. So now we got an accurate response. 
So this is the advantage of implementing RAG, where you feed the context along with the question and you are enabling the LLM to come back with a more factual, correct response. And based on that, you can build front ends that look like this. So now you can actually ask the same question to our bot built using Gradio. So it looks uh, very, very cool with the actual interface and you can also expose this on the uh, public internet as an endpoint. So yeah, there we go. It's the same answer. Now let me ask my favorite question. Who won the best music award? Uh, one of my favorite music directors from South India, Kiravani. Uh, I can also ask how many awards did uh, the film RRR win at the Oscars? And uh, hopefully, okay, one, absolutely. That's correct. And which was the best international feature film? So these are some of the questions that I already created as examples. So now uh, I'm actually leaving the code for Gradio uh, within the GitHub repo. You can run this. You can take a look at the uh, uh, source code. So this is how it looks like. This is the uh, chatbot that you, are, uh, you actually looked at. So it is basically, uh, the same code that we have used in the Jupyter Notebooks, but I have modified it a little bit uh, to make it more convenient and more flexible for Gradio to respond. So that was an end-to-end -end demo uh, and a series of tutorials on Amazon Bedrock and Titan. I hope you found this useful. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I'm going to bring you more details and more in-depth tutorials on generative AI in the coming days. Thanks for watching.